Welcome back. Previously, I did a video on why you shouldn't practice headshots and why this could actually be dangerous in defense shooting and also why it could get you in trouble legally as well. And one of the viewers who is a law officer confirmed that in the past, peace officers were trained to shoot two in the chest and one in the head. But most of the departments do not practice a headshot anymore. And I'm thinking probably for the same reason why I don't teach or train headshots. And if you haven't seen this video, you should check it out. And hopefully you could see my point of view as a medical doctor and defense shooting instructor. So if the bad guys are wearing a body armor, where do you aim? That's pelvis area. Now here you might think, why would I want to shoot somebody's bladder or their private part? Well, as a medical doctor, I could tell you the pelvis is surrounded by the bone that supports the body weight. So when you shoot the pelvis and hit the bone, and when the bone shatters, you cannot support your body weight. You're going to drop. And most likely, the bad guy is on the ground, and he's going to be busy trying to figure out what just happened or how to survive instead of continuing to attack you. But if he continues to attack you, your chance of winning the fight is much higher since he's on the ground and not able to shoot you effectively while you could still move and shoot effectively at easier target. And also, if you see my evening hunt, when the deer shows up right before the sundown, I'm always waiting for the shoulder blade because that blade supports the front body weight. And when you shatter the bone, you see them folding the front leg and drop. And I know for a fact they're not going anywhere. Now the main reason is that in the evening it gets dark very fast and I've seen deer who gets a hot shot and still run 70 yards and trying to find a deer in the dark is very difficult and there's a higher risk of never finding the deer or we have to come back next day which is never a good thing because we got coyotes and the meat can go bad. Now some of you might wonder why don't you shoot the shoulder blade in the morning hunt? Well, two reasons. Number one, when you break both shoulders, you know you're gonna have some front quarter damage. Whereas a hard shot, no meat damage. Where you could damage the heart. Number two, it's a humane kill. Now, hard shot, deer tends to expire faster, but they're still able to run. Whereas a shoulder shot, they are not going anywhere but it might take them a little bit longer to expire. So it's the same principle here. If you could shatter the bone, and if the criminal drops on the ground and gives up attacking and throw away his firearm, then you need to make sure everything is safe, call 911 and try to save his life. And that would be the best scenario. But don't get fooled. Just because somebody dropped doesn't mean he's gonna stop attacking you. But if he's shooting at you, you need to keep shooting until the attack stops and call 911. And by doing so, you could save a life and save yourself a lot of trouble legally. So headshot versus pelvic shot, the pelvis is bigger and moves much slower and you could stop the attack a lot faster. As a medical doctor, I was trained to save life and making this video and my training is really to save your life. See ya.